are too spiritual to be wives and too spiritual to be husbands. Okay, well, probably let me say. So two people were in a relationship and uh, it's just that one of them was too spiritual, quote unquote. Whereas the other one is not too spiritual, just normal spirituality and they finally got married and after the wedding the other one wanted them to you know do what couples would do normally at the first night but the other partner was like mm -mm, wait 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 we have to be in the spirit we have to consult the holy spirit we have to pray bind and cast before we do anything there is there's supposed to be a consultation and the other one was like okay 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 and they went on. After the honeymoon, get back to the house and the marriage life had already started. And it has been from one problem to another. Uh, hugging is a, a problem. Kissing is a problem. Just up and down like that. Until their pastor or some pastor friends got to know what was happening. And thank God, they understood the situation and they have to cancel them. Make, the, make most especially the other one to unlearn the things he have learned by himself. And make him to understand that, you know, it is okay. Both of you are couples, for crying out loud, you are married. So because your wife wears, you know, seductive dresses just to seduce you, the husband, that doesn't make her to be carnal. That doesn't make her to be a carnal person. Because she's naked walking around the house, or if she feels like being naked walking around the house, it's just the two of you. It doesn't make her to be carnal. It doesn't make her to be less spiritual than you are. So that shouldn't be an issue. These were the things that was causing problems in the, in the marriage. Or the brother hugs the, the wife, the husband hugs the wife, it is a sin. He hits her butt up, it is a sin. So many things, you need consultation. There are some certain things we must fast and pray. Don't you know, you don't have to be carnal all the time. You, are, you need to be in the spirit all of the time. Abba, that is too much. That is too much. Because you're being in Christ already. The life in Christ is the life is spiritual already. A person that is in Christ, you are already a spiritual person. So, don't see your partner being appealing to you to be carnal. Don't see your husband being all over you, want to kiss you at every moment, want to hug you, want to touch your boobs, want to just all those beautiful plays. He is only trying to get into you so that the both of you will be together all of the time. You see a wife doing so many things all around the house, walking, catwalking, or she wants you all of the time. And you are looking at her. I was thinking you are a Christian. I thought you were a spiritual person, but now I understand. And I think I'm beginning to see that the demon is behind all of these, your characters. That is not like that. It shouldn't be. It was as a result of that counseling that they got to understand that marriage is actually 100% as spiritual as it is carnally 100%. Both of you are supposed to appeal to each other as you are appealing to God. First, you have started appealing to God by being in Christ. Then as married couple, God is even happy about it because that is the institution that he has made. So whatsoever you do to yourself, none of each of you should see the other person as being so carnally minded that being spiritual. Everything is not binding and casting. What do you have to bind and cast when your husband has kissed you or you are maybe you, he's in the public and he decides to hold your hands and hug you. You push. So women feel so irritated. They feel irritated when their husband holds their hand in the public. And it gets them so angry that as soon as they get to the house, before the door is being opened, 
you have started it. What happened? What did you see? Oh, it, I'm, I'm sure you must have seen some things. And the thing was just shaking your body. And that's the reason you have to hold me and hold me that way, hold me that way, kiss me that way. In the public? Why? So women are like that. And so husbands, what do you mean? Why will I work with you? Why do you want to work with me? Why do you want to sit with me at the public event? That is being too spiritual. Stop being childish. In fact, if it is even being childish, it would have been better. But they tell you that you are too carnal. These are the oil. These are the ingredients. These are the sweetness that comes with marriage. When these things are not put in place, or when your partners, when your partner begin to do that, and you begin to put it to them that they are carnal, what you are doing is just gradually quenching the light and doing away with the oil of marriage. So please, nobody, there is no wife that should be too religious because what they call spirituality is actually religiosity, dogma. There is status. There is a certain way that things are supposed to be done according to them in their head. They have built up such a thing and you need to unlearn them. And that is why counseling is good. And that is why this video is also coming to you. In case you are such kind of a person, whether you are married or you are preparing to get married, you need to work on yourself. Your husband can't be carnal. Your wife can't be carnal. Whatever you both do to yourself, it is to bring sweetness and to make that marriage very enjoyable. God bless you. As you see that both of you are spiritual beings and nothing you do is 